Five cc's. Okay, has it got a small needle yep. on it already? Yeah. Okay, perfect. A bigger one if you need more. Well, aren't you organized? And then your suture removal is going to be in this room, so don't dilly dally. Okay. <laughs> We're rolling. We're rolling. All right, guys, we have a wound on a foot that unfortunately is four days old, so if it needed sutures, we're not we're not going to be able to suture. You can't talk through it's these things. That's hard to hear, yeah. You huh. need that, boo boo. What? What do you got going on here? This is some lidocaine, because if we're going to clean this properly, we're going to numb it up. All right, let's go see what we got. Here we go. Hello. Hi. How you guys doing? So you were playing in the lake four days ago, I heard, and uh, you were in the water, and you stepped on something that went ouch. Okay. And what we have, folks, is about a centimeter long little wound. It's kind of got a lot of black stuff all around it, which we'll see what that's all about. Try to get it cleaned up. The other thing you might notice if you compare that heel to this heel, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of swelling. Mm -hmm. Also, I can tell you, because I felt these, I came in ahead of time, it's definitely warm. You, can you see kind of see actually. redness right around that area. Mm -hmm. Sorry, was that tickling? Mm -hmm. Yep. So we've got redness extending to about there. You can kind of see normal skin color here. I mean, heels can be a little red, but that's definitely redder. So this is getting a little bit infected. Inflammation, is the signs of inflammation are heat, uh, swelling, pain, and induration, which is, uh, well, that's the same as swelling. Docs always like to use crazy big terms for what reason? I don't know. Sure makes you look smart. There you go. Anyway, <laughs> it's warm, it's swollen, it's red. Do, 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 do. 27 or 29, no, this is a 30 gauge. So you might feel a little prick. Try not to move. Sorry. Just like you got your blood drawn, you can do it. And it's okay. You won't feel anything after this. Try not to move. Because if we can get it numb, then we can clean it properly. You're doing great. Do you need mom to hold your hand? You're doing really good. Do you have any pets? Uh -huh. What kind of pets do you have? I have a dog and a bunny. You do? What's your bunny's name? Have Snickerdoodle and Lola. Snickerdoodle? Yeah. And who? Lola. Lola? Mm -hmm. Lola sounds like the right name for a bunny. Mm -hmm. I think most bunnies should be named Lola. Mm -hmm. You're doing great, by the way. So good, sweetie. I know. Snickerdoodle sounds like a candy bar or something. Mm -hmm. What's our doggy's name? Chief. Chief? Mm -hmm. Is Chief in charge of Snickerdoodle and Lola? No. Uh -uh. <laughs> no? I think he tries to be. Okay. Sorry, you're doing great. This is the only part that hurts. I know, sweetie pie. You got this. We're almost done. We got just one more little numbing and then we're done. It's okay to cry too. It's okay. If it hurts, it's okay. Okay. It's gonna end. It's gonna end. All right, that was the end of that numbing part. So for the viewers, you see this white right here at the end of the needle? So you, you can kind of see some white here and over in this area at the end of the needle. That's as you infiltrate with the lidocaine, you know you're getting tissue. Um, you know you're getting, that was the only part that hurts. You did amazing. You did amazing. So now we can kind of clean a little bit. So did you keep playing and walking in the lake after you had this cut? No. Does that hurt? No. No. Yeah, all you should feel now is pressure, not pain. This? Yep. A little bit of Hibiclens. Talk to me, Goose. What is that? A little bit of Hibiclens. Cleaner. It's a scrub. So we're scrubbing here. And we're going to also flush with saline. Man, that's You're just doing awesome. Just got What are you doing? Flushing. Mm -hmm. We are flushing this thing at, at with high pressure saline. And mosquitoes? Does that work? Yeah, let me have that. These are the ones with pincers. Yeah. I think they're in the other room. I'll have to. 
Did you just say you brought scissors? Yep. Okay. We need to work on some new force. Does that feel weird? dirt ground in. So for our viewers, she is not up to date on her tetanus. So we will be giving her a tetanus booster. That's all obviously a couple important points on this injury. It's four days old. So if it's less than, if it's more than 24 hours old, it's, you can't suture it back because when you close a wound that's that old, yeah, I'll let her try that. Uh, if you close a wound that's more than 24 hours old, you're liable to trap the infection inside the wound which is actually the worst thing you want it to do. Are you in pain? Pressure or pain? Pressure. Pressure, okay. Probably tickle, tickles a little too, huh? <laughs> Scrub there. So dirty. Ground in dirt. That hurt? Pressure, yeah. Oh, we got some bleeding going on, which is probably good. Good, yeah. How you doing up there? Oh, I'm okay, thanks for asking. <laughs> Not you. We're, silly. Look, we're looking at the gal up there in the mask. I mean, short of creating a, ma I'm not gonna do this. Mm -hmm. You'd have to create a much bigger wound oh. and excise all that. I think we'll, the because, it, gone down. because it might be uh, starting to get infected, I don't wanna create even a greater area of possible infection. But we have to leave it open so Kay. that if it does get pus, it can drain out. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna get her started on a good antibiotic. Why? Uh, well, it's, we've got tissue infection already, so. We want to get on top of that before it gets even worse. Do you happen to have any new piercing? Okay. I'll put some marks on your foot of the redness. <laughs> this is sensitive, huh? Because we don't have this part numbed up. It's like, what? All right, so you can kind of see a circle of where I think the redness and swelling is. And uh, we're gonna put a big old dab of Oh yeah, let's get that off of there. Put this on here. This is the real high-tech stuff here. Cloth band-aid. So what she's gonna look out for? So you're gonna watch for signs of infection, which is increased redness, swelling in that area. You're done. Folks, big okay. thumbs up for an amazing patient. That was kind of rough scrubbing. <laughs> you did great. <laughs> Can't see your pretty smile, but I know it's under there. You can show your smile. You can show us your smile. <laughs> there it is, all right. Yes, okay. We're gonna for infection. Fever, redness, swelling, pus. These would be reasons to come back. I'm gonna put you on an antibiotic. Anytime we start an antibiotic, if you get hives, which is a blotchy rash on the whole body, mm -hmm. stop the antibiotic, give us a call. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna write your prescription. It. And then. Do you want to soak it or anything? It wouldn't hurt. It okay. wouldn't hurt. You know, you can get in the tub, you can soak it, you can get a Epsom salts, put uh -huh. it in a bucket of warm water and just soak it for a while, draw off some of the... Another thing is, when could she get back into the water again? That's going to be tricky because it's yeah. this open wound. I'd say we, we're at least a week out, maybe two. Okay. Yep. And uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm Dr. Paul. Bye. Good job. Thank you.